All right, this is notes for 10-2. Okay, so you should be seeing this, notes 10-2, verifying inverses. We wanna verify if they are actually inverses of one another. Okay, there's multiple ways of doing it, algebraically or graphically, um, from the tables. Uh, and if we were given something like this, like number one, where it's just two graphs, we can see that um, it, it's going to be a mirror image across y equals x, the dotted line here. But we can also use points to be able to kind of go in reverse and, and make tables. So if I made a table of this one for the points that are, are given with the dots, so an x, y, in order for it to be an inverse, these would have to be just the opposite. So let's say that point right there, that would be over negative 1, up 1. That one is over 0, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This point would be over 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3, 7. And this point is over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 7, 8. So these, for an inverse, for the next one, it should be just the opposite of this. Okay, so let's check it. So I look at this point, it's over one, down one. So far, so good. This one is over one, two, three, four, five, up zero. This one is over six, seven, up three. And this one would be over eight, up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I see that these two guys are exact opposites. So yes, this guy is an inverse. Okay, looking at this one, I can either graph them and look at the tables and see if the tables are opposite, or I could simply change this to Y, this is Y. I could change my X and Y on it and flip them, okay? and solve algebraically, but we're gonna save that for the next one. Let's just put these in our calculator and get a graph on it. Okay, so the first one is clear one-third. So we have one over three, get out from under there, x uh, plus two. And let's take a little peek at the graph, kinda looks like something like that. But, so let's go second graph, and let's just go negative, let's get nice, easy numbers. So we'll go negative three, so I'm looking at only the whole numbers. Okay, so give me about three whole numbers. Okay, so let's go negative three, one works. So that's for this one. Move up, so you can see, negative three, one. So I'm looking at my table. The next clean point would be zero, two. And then the next clean point is 3, 3. So let's graph that over negative 3. 1, 2, 3, up 1, put a point. Over 0, up 2, put a point. Over 3, up 3, put a point. And it just kind of goes like that. Okay? So let's check this guy. And I'll put his graph right here. We want it to be the opposite of this. Okay? So let's check it. Clear, 3x minus 2. Let's go to the table. And only looking at these points. So let's go, we want it to be, opposite of this one, so we want it to be 1, negative 3, 2, 0, and 3, 3. Let's check those points. I go to 1, and it says negative, it says 1 in my calculator. So this is not, I can stop there. These two not the same because this guy here would be a one this guy at two is four and three is seven okay so this guy is clearly not uh, a uh, inverse these two are not inverses so no okay flip it Okay, you could do these same way, do a table, but let's do it algebra, it said determine algebraically, so let's do it algebraically. Remember, this is y. 
So if I, if I switch my X and Y, I want it to come out to this. Remember, this is Y, okay? So if I make this X equals two Y plus four, okay? So I scratch that off, made it Y, scratch that off, made it Y, okay? I want this side after I switch my X and Y, made it X equals two Y plus four, I'm gonna solve for Y. So move my Y across, move my X across. So it's negative two Y equals negative one X, because I brought it across here in a negative, plus four. Divide by negative two, all the way across. And Y equals a negative or negative is a positive one half X. Four divided by negative two is negative two. I look at it compared to this one, and they are, exact, uh, are exactly the same. So yes, this guy is an inverse of this guy. So these guys are inverses. Okay, so let's check out the next one. It says determine both algebraically and graphically, so I'm gonna to have to actually do it algebraically like we just did on number three, but then I'll need to make tables for each of them and draft them. So remember y, y, okay? So x equals four y plus three. Move that across, move my x across here. So it's negative four y equals negative one x plus three. Divide by negative four. Y equals a negative over negative is a positive one fourth x minus because it's plus o divided by a minus, so that makes it a minus, and three fourths cannot be reduced. Okay, so we look at it and we already know this is the inverse of this guy, not this guy, does not match up. So I know right now the answer is no, but we still have to graph it. So let's graph the first one and we'll use. Uh, negative two, uh, negative one, zero, one, two. How about that? Okay, like we've been doing. All right, so we go and type it in, and we're gonna see, um, make that a fraction, one fourth, x minus three fourths, And, oops, I meant the second graph. Second graph, let's get to the table. Uh, actually, let's only do the clean points. So negative two is no good because it's not a clean one. Negative one is a negative one. And we'll use three, which is zero. And then the next clean point, kind of looking down through here because they're all fractions, is seven, one. Seven, one. So we know these aren't gonna be in, uh, mirror images, so we know this, I can't just flip these to get this one. We know it's gonna give me something different. So let's go ahead and make a table for this guy. And we'll even look at these guys flip. So here we go. It's 1 fourth X minus three. Take a look at it. And if I was looking at these guys right here, um, negative one is, it's, it's not gonna be negative one. It's negative 13 over four. Okay, so I was gonna get some points that I can graph. We already know it's not inverses. So let's just get some points we can graph. Let's go zero is negative three, um, four, negative two, and the next clean one would be eight, negative one. Okay, so let's just graph these guys over negative one, up one. I'm sorry, down one, down one, down one. That point's no good. Okay, over three, one, two, three, zero. And over seven, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up one. So it goes right here. Okay, the other graph is over zero, down three. One, two, three. Put a point over four, one, two, three, four, down two, one, two, and over eight, that was four, five, six, seven, eight, down one. I can see that these guys are basically parallel, so they're clearly not mirror images of one another, okay? Or they're not uh, inverses. Okay, let's check out the next one. Y, Y, okay, so on this guy, 
Change it to x equals 3y plus 6. Move my 3y across, move my x across. That's negative 3y equals negative 1x plus 6. Divide by negative 3. y equals 1 third x. Is a negative or negative is a positive? 6 divided by negative 3 is a negative 2. And I compare this one to that one. And this is the inverse of that one. So they are matching. So yes, I know these guys are inverses. Okay? Inverses. So we just make, we just got to make one table and then flip it for this guy. Because we know it'll be perfect. Alright, so we take it. And we're going to plug it in. Clear. It is one third. Move out from under there. X minus two. Let's go to the table. Let's just get some clean points. Um, negative three, three. I'm sorry, negative three, negative three. Negative three, negative three. Zero, negative two, and three, negative one. And if I graph that one, go to my table, I will see these guys get flipped. Watch, it's negative three, negative three, negative two, zero, and negative one, three. And we knew that because we know they're inverses, so yes, they are gonna be exactly opposite. So let's graph them over negative three, one, two, three, down one, two, three, put a point. Over zero, down two, put a point. Over three, one, two, three, down one, put a point. It goes like that. The other ones, same thing. Over negative three, down three, put a point. Over negative two, zero, put a point. And over negative one, up three, one, two, three, put a point. And there they go. And they are inverses because if they, this was y equals x right here, okay, they are flipped right across one another. Okay, all right, so you are going to do A, 10, dash two. Okay, you're gonna do numbers. Um, let me flip to it. You're only doing four of them today. You're gonna do numbers one, three, four, and six. So you're gonna do on that A, 10, dash two, one, three, four, and six. Teachers, okay. that concludes notes for 10 to 2. Soccer team and managers.